Okay, so here's a sector question. Uh, we're trying to find the area in terms of pi of the shaded region. So if this angle is 60, that means this angle is 300. So as I showed you a few ways before, we seem to like um, the area of the whole circle, looking at that ratio to the area of uh, the shaded section. So we find the area of the whole area equals pi r squared and pi times 8 squared area of the whole circle is 64 pi so if we take 360 degrees um, to the area of the whole circle 64 pi equals what uh, angle we're looking at, so 300, to the area. So I'm just going to put as A. That's the area of the sector. Okay. So now when I do my cross product, 64 times 300 is 19,200 um, pi and then equals A, area of the sector, times 360. So now divide by 360, or divide the whole side, cancel out. So 19,200 divided by 360 is 53.33, repeating. So I don't have a graphing calculator, so if you just took four thirds, for example, that's one and a third, that's not gonna work. 20 divided by three, well three times six is 18, so that's 18 and two thirds, so on and so forth. So this one, 160 divided by three, the largest one is 53 and a third. So that is the way that you're, you seem to be more comfortable with. And again, just to highlight, it's, 360 over area of the whole circle, or you could flip it and do 64 area of the whole. So area of the whole to the angle that represents the whole, and that would be 360, equals the area of the sector to the angle that goes with it. In this case, it was 300. It doesn't matter because the cross product is going to be the same.